All right, good morning. At least it is for me. What's weird is we have a ton of wind, so I'm going to talk as loud as I possibly can so that you can not miss this Flagstaff. We're looking at a 2023 826 MVR. We're just under 30 feet. And we're under 7,800 pounds the way this is optioned. Now that's going to sound for this size like the weight's not too bad. They've done a really good job of trying to keep this weight under control considering what all is on this guy. If you know anything about Flagstaff, you're going to know that they kind of standard option as much as they possibly can for the unit. And that's from the smallest ones like the E-Pros all the way up to their classics. The classics being the biggest and their baddest, at least in my opinion. So you're going to notice that full width, right? So you get as much space as they can give you, as many options as they can give you, just standard. So let's dive in. I'm gonna to try to talk as loud as I can so that this wind doesn't cut into us. That's it. 2023 Flagstaff Classic 826 MBR travel trailer. You're gonna see the stance is close to how the zipper lights and classics have been in the past. So a good amount of height from the road. And a lot of the standards you've seen in the past are still there. So we're going to kind of just start at the front, work our way around, and show it off. 30 pound propane tanks right up front, and that nice fiberglass molded cap with our automotive front windshield. You do have LEDs at the bottom where they make sense, and a rock guard where it makes sense. Electric tongue jack, of course. And then right on our roadside, two large slides with slide toppers. Just love the aesthetics of these. The lines are really, really awesome. Frameless windows throughout, slam latches throughout. And most of these are gonna be a single-handed slam latch, so if you have something in your hand, it makes sense to just make it easy to operate. Our front storage here, one wild thing that goes all the way up for those golfers, fishermen, etc., you have the full height of that slide available to you to be able to store in that particular storage area. More storage along our back. You can see our aluminum frame because we do have aluminum substructure and block foam insulation. Covered hinges, magnetic hold backs. And then all of our connectors for our gates, they're all wired together. Connections at the rear with an additional light that makes sense and a shower that makes sense just in case there may be any accidents you need to consider and deal with. Walkable roof with a ladder installed. LEDs all the way around too. Now, this back access actually gets us to all of our water and mechanics. So your filter is going to be back here that they include in line. Receiver as well as a drop storage rack. We're going to let our fort lift get past us before I talk too much. So your receiver is going to be ready for at least 300 plus. This should also be 250 to 300. You're gonna have some versatility there in how you can set up. Moving along to our camp side, the important side. Large awning all the way down with the support in the center. I like that they included that little support. It doesn't seem like that would mean that much. It just means you're gonna have less sag over time. Still a single open with magnetic hold back to get you a half fridge. So that expands and keeps you from having to run in and out. And then we're gonna hop back underneath this. It's something I wanna show off. We do have an enclosed underbelly. We also have torsion axles and all these springs. The other thing we're gonna have is self-leveling. So we have separate jacks front and back that are full leveling, not stabilization. This is actual true leveling. There's our LP connect for your outdoor griddle too. Still comes with all the flag staffs. So that is a big, huge upgrade and nicety that I would say takes this to the luxury travel trailer era 
in comparison to say some of the reflections and cougars that are out there the only main difference is going to be size and maybe some of the finishes on the inside tire pressure monitoring is going to be standard we have Goodyear tires and see there's no shackle in between because these are torsion axles more right steps coming down and then our front storage is not a pass through but you can access this from the inside we'll kind of show you that later there are doors to be able to access this area our leveling is up front we are inverted that's another one of those flagstaff things that they do that I love there's a tabletop that's gonna be included as well with this that griddle and tabletop goes onto your holding rail underneath your speakers near your 110 and we'll get one more shot before we head in to look at that classic profile so in addition to the self-leveling in the good construction we're gonna see with the flagstaff frameless windows all the things we just covered we do have solar on top so with the inverter now you're not limited to your electrical needs stepping straight up into this 826 we are set up as a front kitchen with what I would call almost a wraparound counter it is elevated for the bar that's a ton of counter space. I mean, come on, really? Cabinetry top and bottom. Massive amount of storage and things that just make sense. So no standalone table, but you do have a bar area to eat at. Now this is set up as a couple's camper, so there's really no third sleeping area. But for many, that's going to be completely idyllic. TV's installed on the swivel. Our sound bar is going to be a Bluetooth. That is going to be your radio in and out. I'm just dying over this kitchen. So what we were talking about earlier with the front storage, this is where you can access it. So if you throw something in from outside, you can still have access to it here. All of our cabinetry, front faces are solid wood, nicely finished off, good size 12 volt fridge, and that's going to be your fridge above, obviously. Still a good size, and with it being 12 volt, you get all those extra benefits. Electric recline on our slide as well, those nice tinted windows. Coleman Mach AC vented. And then all of your controls are up high, out of the way. So, solar as well as your Wi Fi Ranger. Now, since we have solar, since I do have a battery installed on this, I can turn the lights on this time and show you how this is going to look fully illuminated. I think Flagstaff and a lot of other brands, because of the tinted windows, comes across darker than what it actually is, even though the interiors are that lighter beige, white, grays. And you can see how windy it is, even with a friction door hinge. That door still slammed on me there. And hopefully you can tell how quiet it is. We do have a vaulted laminated roof. Now moving back, our bed is mid. Look at the amount of wardrobe you get and an additional TV in the bedroom and an additional AC in the bedroom and a bigger bed for Flagstaff in general. So you have walk around room, so you have one tens on each side. For those that do have a CPAP, it may end up in the floor, but you can still power it and keep it nearby. Additional storage above, reading lights, and those reading lights also have USB ports in them. Large wardrobe mirrored for hanging, but if you wanted to divide this out, think Ikea, Target, Walmart to get some storage 
tight containers. And then a lot of bottom storage as well. Now they split up our heat. This is one thing I didn't notice, it was kind of odd. Most of our vents are coming around the edge for our heat, but we do have one solo up front. So I'm gonna say they didn't have enough cabinetry coming around to be able to make that particular one happen. Not that big a deal to me. Now some other people may have something like that. I forgot to mention in the entrance here, we do have additional storage hanging. You can take those shelves out. Look at that bed. And then the masterpiece is full width bathroom in this huge Flagstaff Classic. Upgraded fan there, soft close commode, and double sink. So for those that do end up getting ready at the same time in the morning, or if you just need prep space, I know for me and my wife, say I'm using this left sink, She's going to use the right because there's additional power over there. All of her curling iron, blow dryer, etc. may be left out for a little while, but I still have access here without having to move her stuff. So there's no complications. The amount of storage in this thing too. I mean, that goes all the way back, double shelved, finished off with a lip. And a gigantic amount of Linen storage, yeah, underneath. So I have a magnet all back on that side, but we do have a good amount here, as well as opposite our shower, top and bottom. Still double shelved, still full depth. Glass doors. And your shower is going to have a good amount of height to it. It's not a flush floor pan, but not too bad of a step up, probably eight to nine inches. And then that actually goes back down. So you're really only losing about three to four over the overall height. I'd say anyone up to about six, three, maybe six, four would be just fine. And that is definitely above the average man. Integrated seat. All the shower controls and then the shot coming back toward the front we do have max air fans it's just something again that flagstaff does so extremely curious to know what you guys think about this particular layout for a couple i don't think you can get much better the only thing to keep in mind would be you're going to load up that kitchen with all sorts of stuff because of the cabinetry being up here so instead of your weight being over the axle, it's going to be toward the front. So your hitch weight's going to be a little bit higher. And same kind of thing about your bath. You're going to load up that back bath, but nothing like the kitchen. With your bathroom being in the rear, past your axles, you are going to have some movement. Man, I think I've just fallen in love with this thing. And I want to mention too that our ACs do have a heat pump in them. So you can run that. You notice there isn't a fireplace. Not quite enough room over here because of the slide mechanisms to put a fireplace in here. But you'll have electric heat coming out of your AC and you have enough counter space and things like that. You could put a small electric heater at the front just to knock the chill off without burning through your propane. So let's run back out and kind of go over what we've seen. So a lot to unpack in this 826 MBR. Flagstaff again, I think did a great job. Fit finish is always really high on the inside. Hopefully everybody can kind of tell that with the interior and their cabinetry. Big fan of them going back to a beige instead of just straight white and gray. Uh, kind of breaks it up in my opinion, but I think we're gonna see that kind of trickle back down too. Um, so much, so much here. Front fiberglass cap, of course you're at the full width. That long chassis we have to work with on this one. Big awning. Lots of access for storage. You can mix and match that as needed. Fold downstairs, so only one entry on this one. So keep that in mind, that's central entry. And then you split front to back. Solar's already on top, inverter's already installed. Very easy to upgrade this to be whatever you need it to be if you're going 
couple of boondock if you want to just go to the parks however you're going to do right and since it is set up technically to boondock those that may have some interest in traveling for work this may be an option to look at too just keep in mind the finishes versus what some of the others are your countertops are solid frameless windows low maintenance overall on the unit like this and then that huge bed now big wide back bath front kitchen with all that counter space and a bar so you can be able to sit down and eat but not necessarily have that table in the way god the wind is kicking so many so many so many things i want to flash stuff like this very very curious to see what people think when they start to get in this I'm curious to see what you think and always let me know give me a comment give me a subscribe ask me a question i always consider myself to be kind of a no obligation consultation type salesman I don't want anybody to be overwhelmed by the prospect that I am actually trying to sell your camper because the reality is you wouldn't be talking to me if you didn't want one. And the whole point of this is to be able to get out and use it in camp and enjoy what we have around us. Not just the nature side, but just to get into new areas in general. Go see new things and make it easy and comfortable in every single possible way, right? And I think that the camper like this for a couple it's going to more than take care of every need you're going to have. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. We will see you next time.